at them. Let's talk about the worsening situation in the region with Khalil Al Marzouk. He's a leading figure in Bahrain's largest opposition party. Thanks for being with us this afternoon, sir. Uh, the unrest in Saudi Arabia and Bahrain's continued for over a year now. We've been watching it closely, but it's been largely glossed over by the international media. Why is that, do you think? This is part of the hypo uh, hypocrisy in uh, the international community. When they want to support uh, a regime, they uh, ignore all the human rights abuses. And they consider their international interest, uh, like um, financial interest, economical uh, investments, uh, oil, arms sales, and other things, foreign policy. Uh, th these are more, much more important to human rights and democracy. And uh, that's why we have in the Gulf region this um, sort of ignorance to the call for dignity, uh, freedom, uh, security, uh, justice. These are um, uh, something that is being lacked uh, for decades uh, for the citizen. There is no such thing as um, full citizenship right for individuals. Uh, you have to pledge the rulers to get a land uh, like 200 square meters to build a house for 30 years to pay over. And they, they say they have uh, granted you this right, not even this is part of your citizenship right. Scholarship, uh, employment, other things, all of these are something that granted to the citizens, rather the, they are uh, the rights of the citizen. Uh, let alone the political representation in the cabinet or uh, legislative authority or in the judicial authority, these are far much more to reach than even uh, thinking about a house or a job. Understood. Khalil, while you're on the line um, and, and staying in your country, we've got a video we wanted to show our viewers here. It's something we've been talking about all day today on this channel. A video leaked online allegedly showing government mercenaries driving cars at demonstrators. I mean, is this the red line it's going to take to make the international community take a stand on Bahrain or not, do you think? I doubt, I doubt the international community will move ahead more uh, with the Bahraini regime uh, requiring firm steps to respect the human rights. We've been talking about more than eight months of implementation of Biki report, the Bahraini Independent uh, Commission of Inquiry report, which uh, spilled out uh, lots of uh, torture, extrajudicial uh, killing, extrajudicial trials, no fair trials, uh, abuses. Now we talked uh, in the last uh, uh, two months, more than 400 houses being raided by police officers. No accountability to these police officers, although it was mentioned in BK report and it's been repeated now. Just in two months, 400 uh, uh, houses. Uh, arrest of activists, banning of activists from traveling outside. Lots of, it's, it's not lo killing like in other places, but they are trying to kill our dignity, mm. trying to kill our uh, humanity. But uh, the, the people are very self-determined and they are continue their struggle despite uh, this ignorance from the international community. Let's focus while you're on the line. We've got about a minute or so, Khalil, uh, on Saudi Arabia. Now, the situation there is even less clear than Bahrain. There's almost no information coming through, is there? Last year, we recall Saudi Arabia banned all demonstrations uh, in the country and security forces are on high alert over what they call a turbulent situation in the region. What is actually going on there? There are being calls for uh, socio-economic rights and political rights for the Saudis as well. All the GCC, it's not uh, Saudi only, Emirates, they have now troubles with uh, uh, arresting some uh, activists. And all GCC lacks uh, real representation to the people, the real voice of the people in the executive power, in the legislative power, in the judicial. So it's been absolute uh, monarchies or rules by um, uh, kingdoms and um, chiefdoms uh, that they are controlling the wealth of the uh, countries, they are controlling the decision making, they are controlling even what they give uh, to their citizens. I think wisdom when it comes to these rulers to get the right of the people, uh, to establish stability through representation of the people. The people here in the Gulf region does not want to topple the regimes. The people, they want dignity, freedom, peace. Uh, they want security. They want justice. They want fair uh, and equal uh, opportunities. If this is uh, provided through 
um, uh, citizenship-centric uh, countries, representation from the people, accountability to those who are corrupt. This is, this is enough for the people. Khalil, thanks for your thoughts and make them so clear. Khalil Amazouk, leading figure of Bahrain's largest opposition party, joining us on RT International.